my channel i am missy b london and i'm gonna be talking about something that i am gonna be doing this year something different and i hope i can keep it up as well you saw the clip anyway so you understand what i'm gonna talk about because you saw the clips before what i did but basically as you can see here i have a lovely jar in here and i've got a couple of notes already what i will be doing i'll be writing down good things that happen good events act of kindness that i have done myself within each month not every day it could be things i can be thankful for as well i'll write them down and then when it comes to the end of each month i will open it up I would read each piece of paper for that month and I'll read and I'll reflect and I'll remember those little moments in time. I also have different coloured papers and as I know you've seen it in the clip before as well which I will put before this bit as well. So I know each colour will be for each month. So I know I'll be repeating myself and it will be kept separate as well. I mean, I can write like something nearly every day if I really wanted to, but I don't want to work right down. Oh, I woke up today. Oh, I had a good day today. Oh, um, everything is good. No, it's got to be like acts of kindness, something good. Someone gave you a compliment. You did something good for somebody. Those kinds of things. And then, like I said, when it comes to the end of the month, you can open this lovely jar it is big and it would have many more papers in by the end of the month this is january 10th of january today yeah 10th of no actually <laughs> i should know the date actually but i've totally forgotten yeah 10th of january today so end of the month i will come back with a video and you'll see me opening the jar reading out each thing on each piece of paper and reflecting and this could be my kind of like story time kind of reflecting video as well so and plus I thought of this idea because I saw it on Facebook that there was a jar and that there was some writing what they said was in the jar and everything and plus I know I'm looking that way for whatever reason I don't know but yeah plus you know I've got a bad memory the way how I got to write down things every day sometimes I still forget to so actually write it down put it in the jar when I open it again I can reflect on those experiences those acts of kindness the good things that happen just to remind me again of those moments in time I could be having a bad day low mood whatever but just to open it and just to remember and reflect and remember the good feeling and remember that goodness that happened as well what do you think of this um thing that i'm doing is it good well of course it's good yeah would you try it yourself i don't know but i know it's a good idea and it's something good to do and it's something positive to do as well so i am going to do it and i hope you will enjoy my journey in me doing it and then when i'm reflecting in those moments and events and everything as well but yes this lovely jar can you imagine the day that it'd be so full up and everything i'm gonna have to fold a piece of the paper like smaller to fit more in but right now we're in january beginning of the year so <laughs> we still got 11 and nearly half months to go to the end of the year but like i said i will come back every month and just read through the notes in the jar to reflect to remember to feel good as well those moments of happiness and everything as well but yeah this is it oh yes i keep on thinking about the name i'm going to call the jar i'm going to call it right now the jar of goodness I should give it some kind of design and pattern and what's that word again to make it unique as well but give me time i need to get the stationery for that as well be dazzle it be jazzle i've not got clues in my face in it but yeah i've not got a clue but i need to like make it look nice as well i keep it in my kitchen because i'm always in the kitchen most of the time cooking making something to eat listening to the radio writing notes 
the kitchen has the best daylight to take pictures product pictures and all that thing as well so i'll leave it in the kitchen for so much reasons because in the bedroom yeah i'm gonna forget kitchen like i said i'm always in there so in the kitchen it is the papers in there as well if you're gonna do this you gotta think about it's gotta be somewhere that you see it all the time it's not forgotten it's in eye view so the kitchen like i said is a good idea living room bedroom maybe next to your makeup stuff because i don't do a lot of makeup it won't be next to my makeup stuff so yeah but yeah i am liking this idea anyway there's still more i need to write as well but i've just i've just not done it yet but the idea is in my head but yeah this is me with my jar of goodness writing down things that happen and reflecting on them on a later date but yeah this is it thank you for listening i hope this was useful i like to hope it is positive as well but actually i know it's positive but it's giving something positive for you and something that maybe you can do as well and yeah i think that might be it <laughs> thank you for watching my video if you're new you can subscribe press the bell so you know when i've got another video coming out if you're returning thank you for returning much love be good i clapped there sorry about the clap is sounding loud much love be good look after yourself and i'll see you in the next video goodbye